as you pump in air in a plastic bottle, it just launches upwards like a rocket. To make this bottle rocket, of course you need a plastic bottle, a cycle pump, a rubber cork, a pin, a cycle bearing and two different diameters of plastic tube. Now, on this tube, the ball sits very tightly. On, on the other tube, which is slightly fatter, the ball is loose. Now take a rubber cork with a hole in it. This is a standard part of any scientific lab and push about 30 centimeters of flexible plastic pipe into it. Press it tightly and then insert a pin inside the plastic tube. The pin will act like a stopper for the steel ball. The steel ball is free in this tube. And then take the thin tube with the blue end. Now this is the space for the ball to move. Uh, from the right to the left air can pass. It's like a valve. And then seal the joint between the two tubes. Now insert the thinner tube deep into the bicycle pipe hose. Again tape this joint so as to prevent any leakage of air. Now the main part of the experiment has already been improvised, it's in place. Now as you pump air, you can see the ball moving. The ball is like a one-way valve. It allows air to go into the rubber cock but not the other way around. Now fix a plastic bottle and then just hold on to the rubber cock. As you pump in air, because of the compressed air, the bottle takes off like a rocket. Now, in the second part, you fill the bottle with a quarter of water. Once again, press the rubber cock tightly, then invert the bottle and just hold on to the rubber cock. Now, as you push in compressed air inside the bottle, it like a blast, it goes 100 meters off. It's a great experiment to do which the entire community can enjoy. It also uses very simple equipment. Here you can see that everyone is enjoying this great experiment, the bottle rocket.